we always got to give thanks before we do anything, right? Um, without God, we wouldn't make it through a lot of the struggles that we go through, right? Struggle is a part of life, but life is beautiful, so struggle is there for beautiful, right? A lot of people think that um, because artists uh, make beautiful things out of the struggles they go through, that their struggles aren't just as hard to go through. Um, so I wrote this piece with that in mind. So I don't know a lot of things, right? I learned less than I need to and probably should have by now. And I try to teach people way too much. I got bad short term, so I lose a lot in conversation and exchange. It's strange, and to me, bullshit, how my memory will let slip the type of stuff I should never forget, like names, or what time I need to board my plane, the food I need to eat, the fact I need to sleep, the people in my life I need, the fact that most times I only need me, the masterpiece in the mirror, the incredible creation I am a part of, and how I am a man with the heart of poetry, hip hop, art, and love, learn things behind this microphone stand and circumstance no classroom could plan. Burn these lessons in my hands where, where it hurts the stance I have held, barely bold and halfway brave as the road paved with the decision to listen to myself instead of everyone else. The irony in me begging everyone to listen to the things I scream. I started writing poems for people to hear when I was 14. My sister was born that same year. More in store seems just around the corner from here and up that stagnant street just might, might be a little light-skinned, long-haired me. Ain't no shit about shit. Kid who thought with this, uh, no pretense, so I fell in love quick. This year would be when I lost kinship with fear. Felt my first woman, gave her my dripping heart and let the blood smear that year. I learned about the need to learn, and I did. Need to learn, that is. My first babysitter was this big white German woman, right? Used to always say, Jonathan, stop running in and out of my house. Make a decision now, in or out. I broke my first heart when I was 16, and the break was everything but clean. Dragged that girl's heart like a suitcase with one wheel and felt like a man doing it. I know I'm probably wrong for that, but it's true, and it's the only thing I have to hold on to. The truth, that is, started smoking weed that year, too. Ain't, ain't that some shit? Ain't quit. Chief and sense think I may have an addictive, addicting personality. Things aren't different. The afflictions just switching reality. The way I cling to people and things clinging to me, it's sick to my being, my being quiet and silent as a whispering scream, as foolish as it seems, can't do it, can't do one more day of this dream, need to wake the fuck up and see, see I'm right at that point where people start to expect things, right, like loyalty and sympathy or poetry and symphonies, and most times I don't have the balls enough to ask to bum a cigarette, nor to tell myself I can't afford that shit, or better yet, make all this bullshit sound beautiful and sell it back, every poem I have, that my gift is not knowledge, my gift is to spit shit polished as pretty as it is, it's still gonna stink, and I just can't see the gift in that I can't, oh, he writes about pain so beautifully, I wish I could look inside myself and, and see the things he sees, look, look at the trash and feces, at the insecurities hanging from the rungs of my ribs, like tennis shoes from telephone wires, all of those aborted kids, my father, higher than I could ever get, look at his sweat, you wanna see some shit, I cut myself and show you with this blackened cavity of a heart, this pile of ash in my lungs, this shack of a stomach with blood caked on the walls, swatting the flies and watching them fall, nothing, Nothing about this at all seems poetic or brilliant. Tell me the slum, putrid and sick, sounds like something beautiful and spit between cigarette drags and heartache. Every time you cannot think of something to say or just won't and make everyone understand now, even though you don't.